Hi, Dyslexic Genius here. What I'm going to talk about is the pin through the spindle shaft of a phonograph that the turntable connects into like a victor, like this. Kind of looks like a cross. We have a pin here, and this one was missing. I replaced it. Now I'm going to show you how to replace these. The original pins were a .090, which means there are no .090 pins laying around because Photograph manufacturers, like car manufacturers, had these manufactured for them at that size. And what you have to worry about is the bottom of the turntable is where the pin fits. So this comes in. And it fits in here like that. And that's what holds it in place. But this is an original pin. It had broken off at one end. In the center of that is... 0 0.09 for 0, zero 090. Some of these spindle shafts are case hardened. So when I get into the video talking about drilling, if it starts making a screeching sound, it's case hardened, it won't drill. But majority of these are just regular steel. And you want to look at them too. Like this one here, you can see I have a burr right here, this mark here. And this mark here, well that little burr is going to stop it from going into the spindle hole. So you'll you'll need to look at this closely. So what we're going to do, <coughs> pardon me, is we're going to insert a new pin. And I use a 3 32nd inch split pin. And a split pin has a line in it right here. And it kind of looks like this. And so when we put it in, it's going to close up and lock down. And we'll look over here, we can see that this is a 332nd, and it's a 0 .0938. Okay, we're going to have a little math on this. But nowhere on the drill size decimal equivalents do you see a 0 .090. There's no such thing. Why yeah. couldn't you go the 0 .089, the one above it? That one would flop around. It would oh. be loose. You could try to push in a 42. That's a drill size. And I'm going to talk about, these are number drills, these numbers here. These outside numbers are the fractional, like 332nd, 1 8th, and so on. So this is how we're going to do it. You will need a V-block, which is one of these. I've talked about this to do the work. And you're also, my first video, I talked about veneer caliber that you're going to need. And you're going to need this because you're going to have to measure your pin. So when you get your pin, you're going to go, you're going to get your split pin and you're going to go, oh, well that's a 197. Okay. So if I drill it out, if I drill this hole, At a 40, it will pinch down into that number. So you're, we're only moving it a couple of thousandths of an inch, and it'll just pop right in there like that. And that's how you do it. We're going to have a bigger hole, and then the pin's going to get smaller as it goes in, and I'll show you how that works. So now we're going to set it up. And you can do this on a drill press, or you can do this on a milling machine. So I'm, I know that a 41 drill will go through the hole, and I know that a 39 drill is the drill I'm going to use to, for the size of the pin. So you're going to get this drill and insert it into the chuck. And then... It's going to come in like that. You're and threading it onto the... I, yeah, I just push, pushed it through the holes. Because what I'm doing is I'm aligning the hole in the shaft to, to the shaft to the drill. So I'm going to have a 90 degree angle right here. Okay. And that's what it has to be. You can't drill this off. So bring this in. There we go. We'll lock that down. And you can do this on your drill press. 
And if you're really good, you could probably do it freehand, but I've never done one freehand. When you bolt it down, you the clamp, you don't want the clamp out here. You want it as close to the hole we're drilling as possible. Now we're going to test it. Now it moves smoothly. You can whoopsie Brett. I'll reset this. So now what we're going to do, lock that down so it's all set up, double check, perfect, pull this out, put in the drill size for the hole. Make a little noise. Make sure we have no burrs in there. We'll take this over to the bench. Okay. Now, when we insert it, we want the slot pointing down, the, the split pin. Remember I talked about that? So we have the slot, we want that facing down. Set it back into here. And then you go, bingo. And now it's in. That's, that's, that's all it takes to do this. Okay, and now we have a new pin in here and we're ready to go and everything will fit. And that's my tip for the day.